everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to my presentation. When the committee at the Mermaid's Tear Sea Glass Festival asked me if I could create a video talking about how we draw creative expression from the nature around us, it was an absolute honor because in 2008 I was living in a big city and I was working 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, just so that I could take a small vacation for a couple of weeks and spend more time closer to nature. It was this realization that made me quit my job and sell my house and move over 5,000 kilometers away where I bought a house randomly right next to the ocean in hopes to live a more meaningful existence closer to nature. How could we not be inspired by a backdrop as beautiful as this? This is where I spend most of my time, everybody. Not just looking for sea glass, but peace of mind, tranquility, and inner balance as well. Often I look out into the deep blue ocean and I imagine what it must look like underneath these dark waters that we can't see through and what that balance between the smallest little microorganisms and the largest animals on the planet must be. Our creative expression can often mirror this random pattern and chaos of nature. Some of my favorite works start off with a blank canvas and no direction whatsoever, just the desire to branch out and create something new and explore areas that I've never been before. I remember a long time ago when this was a blank canvas and I was gluing my first shard of sea glass to it despite the fact that I had no roadmap and idea what I wanted my finished product to look like. I kept telling myself, well, there's no turning back now. And over the next eight months, I randomly added new features to this canvas and I often think of its chaotic order as I do the ocean. The patterns and symbols that I included scatter throughout history, just as marine life scatters throughout the sea in different shapes, shades, and sizes, yet harmoniously coexist in the same body of water. When I think about all the different sea creatures out there, there's nothing that comes to mind more than the beloved sea turtle. Now, I knew my life in the Canadian Maritimes would be very different than what I was used to in a big urban centre, but I could have never imagined that I'd see posters for turtles hanging up the same way I do for lost dogs and lost cats. This is why my first inspirational piece of artwork was a tribute to this lovable sea turtle. It's a really simple design, everybody. However, I was doing my best to capture the sea life that I imagined was taking place right over here in front of me. When it comes down to drawing inspiration from nature, there's nobody on this planet that does it better than Ocean City artist Harry Marlowe out in the United Kingdom. His 3D sea glass sculptures push the boundaries of creative expression and what we can do with sea glass. I really wanted to share with you some of my favorite creations that he's come up with over the years because there's nobody out there that I've ever seen that is inspired by nature and draws creativity from nature to the way that my friend Harry does. Now things can get really rough out on the North Atlantic Ocean, so it's not every day that I find myself at the beach. On those days, I'm submerged in a completely different type of nature where I'm inspired in a very different way. Out here, the colors are very, very different than what we would expect to see on the beach. You can see all these different beautiful shades of green around me, and it kind of reminds me of all the beautiful different shades of green sea glass, because there's almost an unlimited amount of shades that you can find out in nature, just like there's almost an unlimited amount of shades of green sea glass that we can find out on the beaches. I have such a deep fondness for all four seasons. However, this is my favorite time of the year. I just love it when the flowers are blooming, the birds are singing, and those little insects are buzzing around. You know, it can be difficult to find sea glass in shades such as this right over here. However, I always do my best to honor Mother Nature throughout my creative expression. And not too long ago, a few feathered friends let me know that I'm doing her proud. This is exactly where I am with my creative expression and I absolutely love making these sun catchers and I have over 30 of them adorning every single window in my house. 
Now over the past year, I've spent a lot more time at home like so many other people out there, and this is where Mother Nature has paid me the highest compliment to my work. On three separate occasions in the past year, a tiny hummingbird has stopped by my windows and attempted to draw nectar out of my beautiful little sun catchers here, and I distinctively remember this one instance where the same hummingbird came back three times in a very short period because he was absolutely certain that this was a flower and he should be able to draw nectar from it. Thanks for sharing your time with me everybody and watching my video presentation. I hope that I've inspired you today to try something new and exciting that you've always wanted to do before. Just remember that the main component to any masterpiece is courage. Go slow, be patient, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and don't be too harsh on yourself when you do make a mistake because there's nobody out there that's going to judge you as harshly as you judge yourself.